straight ban ban bandana So Big says, Un, give Mace a check. And he's going to write. What's going on? It's DJ Bandana Black, Mr. Well Connected, even more respect than Mr. Hashtag I am Buffalo. And I already know what you're thinking. If you heard what I just heard, you're probably thinking like, Biggie got a ghostwriter? Biggie Smalls got a ghostwriter? Yes, Biggie Smalls did have a ghostwriter. I am about to play the proof for you guys. You know me. I come with the paperwork all the time. You know what I'm saying? I ain't going to say it if it ain't true. You know here on the channel, I ain't going to say it if it ain't true. But listen, before we get into that, right? <clears throat> You know, I always say, I didn't just get on YouTube and put a DJ in front of my name. I do this in real life. Listen, the other day, this is what I want y'all to do, right? So the other day, I went to this um, artist showcase called the SMG Family Presents Artist Showcase. Boom, you see that? Hosted by DJ Bandana Black and my boy Spill. So they had a bunch of artists. They had a bunch of um, producers and stuff there. So we about to get into the Biggie joint real quick, though. But listen, this is what um, I seen while I was there. And this is what I want you guys to do. Um, if you can, this is what I'm going to do Tuesday. But I want you guys to do the same thing also, too. So... I went to this artist showcase, right? So I was at this artist showcase, and I remember me coming up as a young DJ, um, really just saving my money, trying to get equipment, and just buying used equipment, and just working what I can work with um, to get to where I wanted to get with, uh, get to where I wanted to get um, with, with, with my with my profession with DJ. I don't know why I'm stuttering. I still get nervous every time I get in front of the camera. Like I was crazy because I was just telling one of the guys last night, and I still get nervous when I get in front of the camera. But long story short, this is what happened, right? So one of the producers got up there. His name is Mischief. He don't even know what I'm doing. This Mischief don't even know I'm doing this. He don't even know me. I met him last night, or was that the night before last? I don't know. I was drinking a little bit too. It might have been last night or night before last. One of these nights. The last night, the night before last, I went to this event and um, Mischief was producing, right? So as I'm looking at him producing, this video right here I had to take, right? Because I, I was like, nobody's going to believe this, right? So if you look at this video right here, tell me if you notice anything right here in this video, right? Look real close. Tell me if you notice anything. All right, bonk. So what I noticed was that this young guy, right? Not only did he get up there, it was technical difficulties first, right? So when we first got there, um, somehow the music wouldn't wouldn't connect like that. So he was real humble. He was like, you know what? I'm still going to support. I'm still going to check out everybody else. You know what I'm saying? I, if you can't find my YouTube, don't worry about it. So long story short, we got everything set up. He went there and did his thing. And as he's setting everything up, I'm like, dude, this man got a computer monitor? Like, is that a computer monitor? Like, not being funny because honestly, like, right, I used to have a three monitor setup. I'm doing this right now with a monitor and my daughter TV right now. But So I've been there before. Um, with using that type of equipment. But that kind of just touched my heart, just seeing him, like, really just making a way. Like, he really came out in front of all those people, came out there with the equipment, and clearly you could see that his laptop is, like, destroyed. Like, the, the screen on his laptop is not even broke. He was, I'm not being funny, bro. I mean, I don't know you anyways, but the screen on his laptop is completely destroyed. So what he did was he brought another computer monitor to set up. So you know how hard it is to, do like, do your producing thing live, but you know how hard it is to do it with a laptop that you can't see the screen, so you got to use a whole other screen to do it, and he did it flawlessly. I'm talking about he ain't look nervous. He did it flawlessly. He did his thing. And what I want to do is, um, actually, I don't even know his cash app. So this is what we're going to do. I want y'all to go to his Instagram. I probably should have found out his cash app first. This is how you know this wasn't planned. I really just seen homies like, we got to help him out. Well, Tuesday when I get paid, I'm going to inbox him and send him something to his, uh, to his cash app to try to help him get a new um, a new laptop. Basically, what I want to do is help the guy get a new laptop, right? So his name is Mitch. I'm going to help him get a new laptop. I'm going to send him something when I get um, when I get paid Tuesday. Like I said, Big Man Daddy ain't balling like these other big YouTubers, but I get a little bread Tuesday, so I'm going to send it to him. But I want you guys to do, I'm going to put the link below. It's probably going to be on the screen. I'm going to put his Instagram. I want y'all to go to his Instagram, right? <clears throat> After this video, during this video, you ain't even got to watch the rest of this video, honestly, because I care about the music and Buffalo music over everything, honestly. So up until this point, we still going to talk about the biggie shit, but go to his Instagram, right? Inbox him and just say hashtag bandana fam. We support you. And if you can, maybe ask him what his cash app is and just say, man, we we, we, we heard about you doing your thing the other day. We want to try to help you get a laptop. He'll go four dollars. He'll go five dollars. I don't care what you got to get cash app. Some of y'all got the little Bitcoin joint. You know what I'm saying the cash a little four dollars in your Bitcoin. Cash that in. Send my man three dollars for his uh for, for his laptop. But I'm gonna make sure that he gets he gets a new laptop before the end of the year. Because like I, I can't just buy if I had it flat out right now, I really would have just called him the next day and said, Listen, bro, I got something for you. He probably thought it was a a, a, a card or something like that. I just gave him a new mixtape. I mean gave him a new uh gave him a new laptop. But we're gonna get him a new laptop. Hopefully the bandana fam can help me to help him. Like I said, I'll put the links down below. We can check him out. Now, to the biggies, um I've been talking for a long time. How long was that? That was a long time. Anyways, um, to the Biggie uh, Ghostwriter thing, right? So this is what happened with Biggie Ghostwriter situation. I know you probably think like Biggie had a Ghostwriter himself. No, absolutely. Now, yo, stop playing with me, man. 
Stop playing with me. Like, y'all really click on this thinking that Biggie Smalls himself had a ghostwriter? Y'all got to stop listening to WAC 100, bro. Leave, leave Biggie out of that, bro. Biggie ain't have a ghostwriter. Actually, he did. So this is what happened, right? So Biggie, during the time when Mace was signed to Bad Boy, right? Mace was signed to Bad Boy, and he had one of those Bad Boy contracts. So clearly, he was looking real rich. I'm saying shiny shoots and all that, but that cash app was not hitting. His pieces was not hitting. So anyways, he went over to Biggie. He said, yo, Biggie, I'm trying. He probably not verbatim, but he probably went over to Biggie. Yo, listen, bro. You know I'm broke because you, you know what I'm saying, you just came out of the same type of little situation. So what Biggie said, Biggie said, you know what? He goes some bread right for little C's. This is what's heartbreaking for me too right now too because he's saying that Biggie paid a ghostwriter, which was Mace. Biggie paid Mace to ghostwrite songs for little C's. Not just songs. When I'm talking about, so this is not just songs. I'm talking about Crush On You. Remember the Crush On You video? Like when you was younger, like not to really get into, but... Little Kim and Crush on You video was crazy, yo. Like, beyond crazy. I don't even like Little Kim, but Little Kim and Crush on You video, oh my God. But listen, Little C's didn't write his verse on Crush on You. Mace wrote his verse on Crush on You because Biggie paid him to do it. And you know how we know this for sure? Because remember Lance Unrivera? Remember the whole Jay Z and the Unrivera? And the Kim? Remember Lance Unrivera? Anyways, he's coming out recently, did an interview with um, Vlad, and he basically just admitted it and said, listen. Mace was broke as hell. We paid about seventy five hundred a uh, seventy five hundred a uh, song, and he ghost wrote the songs for uh, for for Lil C's. But that's crazy because Crush on You though, bro. Honestly, Lil uh, uh, Rivera, like not being funny, bro. Like I really wish he just wouldn't have told the truth about that, bro. Like Lil, like Crush on You though. So Lil C's didn't write Crush on You. Anyways, let me know, does does this make a difference to you guys? So knowing that Lil C's didn't write that, that Mace wrote that, does that the song hit a little different for me? But anyways, we're gonna get into the audio of a little bit of audio of, of Un Lance Rivera. Is that's how you say it, uh, his name? Uh, basically talking about what I just said, confirming everything. Anyways, it's DJ Band in the Black, Mister Well Connected, more respected, Mister I Am Buffalo. It's on me and Emmy. I just said on the Emmy, and I don't have the I Am Buffalo shirt on. I just have the, the tattoo, but it usually be on me. Usually I have an I Am Buffalo shirt, and I have it on a tattoo, so it'll be on me and Emmy. But anyways, um, y'all hop in the comments. Let me know how y'all feel about this. I really don't think that... Um, I don't think it really makes a difference because Lil C's really wasn't like a lyricist. Like He wasn't really like a... I'm not going to say he was a one-hit wonder, but he wasn't really like a... Nobody's really going to care that Mace wrote his, his records. We're actually probably going to like his music better knowing that Mace wrote it, honestly. I mean, it's just fucked up times. I mean, look, Drake had it. You know, we're not going to get into that because I'm trying to, I want to keep my fans. Anyways, DJ Bandana Black, Mr. Well Connected, more respected. Do not forget about my boy Mischief. Listen, before the end of the year, we're going to get my boy Mischief a new laptop. But before the end of next week, I'm going to send him something. I don't know if he has a cash. I'm going to hit him up and say, I got something for you. Cash at PayPal, Zelle, whatever it is. But I want you guys to go to his Instagram. Like I said, I'm going to show the video again. This guy was just so so humble. Like I said, he was up there. I could tell that he was just, 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 just real, just doing his art thing. Like I really, I really love that. Just being young and really just doing your art thing. And then he had his um, I don't know if it was his sister or his girlfriend or, but he had some female there like holding the camera, really like supporting him and shit like that. So I really want to be a blessing to guys. So if you guys could also too, like I said, hit his um Instagram. He might give you guys his cash app. But if I was you guys, I would just maybe. Go to his Instagram, tell him, man, DJ Bandana Black sent us. We heard about it. Hashtag Bandana Fam and see what we can do. Anyways, DJ Bandana Black, Mr. Well Connected, even more respected. As I always say, the most important thing I can tell you, the most important advice I can give you in life, and this is going to take you far in life, I'm telling you. This is going to take you further than any quote, anything that your mother ever told you. Listen, it's called pop, not soda. It's not called soda pop. It's not called soda. It's just called pop. DJ Bandana Black, we up. Mace. So can you imagine what kind of contract Mace got? <laughs> right? Because Big just came off that same contract. Yeah. Right? The locks, all of them came off the same contracts. Right? So Mace, with Big rapping with Mace on the 112 remix, Big Mace is broke. So Big says, un- Give Mace a check, and he's going to write for C's, right? He's going to write records for C's. Mace comes back with a record called Crush On You hmm. for Little C's album. This was a Little C's big paying, unpays Mace. I think we paid him 50000 $7,500 a record, yeah, right? Records. He made six records, right? So I...
Bandana Black and Doris Records. Yeah, man. Bandana Black, you know, he always played local music, you know, for Buffalo, man. We That was the only DJ we really had, you know what I'm saying? And um, he always showed love, man. He always been a fan, you know, since day one. I knew him before. I, I knew him before he was even Bandana Black, you know what I'm saying? So it was just like when he when he became, you know, on the radio, uh, a radio DJ, man, he just always showed love, man. So, you know, definitely shout out to Bandana Black. Yeah, what Eve will you Bandana Black? DJ Ban Ban Bandana!